you calling me that cracks me up, but I appreciate it. Uh, everyone, please grab a pair of shoes. They were doing a shoe-centric workout. Doesn't matter what kind. I'm going to go ahead and start the Instagram so I can let them know. Um, yeah, everyone, please grab a pair of shoes. can be flip-flops, can be tennis shoes. Doesn't matter what they are. If for some reason you can't find a pair of shoes, you can grab a water bottle or something else. Um, but we're going to use this as a prop today. So grab your shoes and we'll get started in a moment. I'll give everyone like a minute um, just to add a little something different to our workouts. <laughs> I see George just like flapping his shoes around. Awesome. <laughs> People are like, oh gosh, shoes. What do we do? I don't, what are shoes? I suddenly forgot. Like, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. <laughs> so now that we have our shoes, uh, we're not going to be using them for every part of our workout, but we'll be using them for some of our workout. So go ahead and take one of your shoes into your right hand. Take your left arm across your body and just start to work through the range of motion with the shoe and hand, bring it all the way around and back. And so I want you to imagine that you're tracing a circle with your shoe. And sorry, if you grabbed a pair of gross shoes, you're going to have to work with them. You can always swap it out for a water bottle. And you want to make as big a circle as you can with that shoe. Good. Two more. And go ahead and pass that shoe into the left hand, work through it. If your cycle is not already going, please start it now. And this is not one of our strength building exercises because my arm is going up and over my head. So the blood technically is not pooling. Um, but I want to make sure that we do this to open up our shoulders for our strength building exercises. Good. Last one. All right. And now you can grab your shoes or not grab your shoes. This one, they're not as important. We're going to start to warm up the forearms with upward wrist curls using our shoes up and up. So go ahead and glue the elbows into the midline of the body. Arms are straight. First 40 seconds. Here we go. Curl and curl. And I realized I always have, a, have us imagine that we're holding weights. We can just actually hold something up and up. Yeah. Good. My arms stay nice and straight, and I'm pulling those shoes in as close to my body as I can. Awesome. Doing what we can to add variety to our workouts. Good, have done. And I notice here, even holding something kind of makes the move a little bit different than when I just make this. And if you don't like it, you can always drop your shoes. Otherwise, keep going. Last 10. We have eight. And five, four, three, two, and one. So this time we're going to move the other direction. My palms are facing back. I'm going to curl up and up. Take a moment. Roll the wrists around as I'm doing this and seeing how ridiculous we all look with shoes. And it's so fantastic. <laughs> you really can work out with anything with your bands, including a pair of shoes while you're in bare feet. So opposite direction, 40 seconds. We're going up, up. There we go. And I wanna try and keep as much bend out of my elbows as I can. So instead of providing slack, we're just working into our form. And now after this exercise, we're going to work into our triceps with a little different exercise than we've done before. It's a variation of a push-up, and it's the only push-up we're going to do today, but it's a funky one. Last 10 seconds. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. You can release the shoes down onto the floor, but keep them close by. Um, for our triceps, we're gonna make our way down onto hands and knees. And it's a little different formation than we normally do. I'm gonna take my right hand in front of my left hand. 
And I'm going to take the push-up with my elbows out to the side. So I have one hand in front of the other. And you can either take these on your knees or step back into plank. We're going to go 40 seconds starting now. So the range of motion is going to be a little bit smaller. My fingers are pointing in opposite directions. And my elbows are going right out to the side. We're pressing into it like so. So keep going here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to notice that these make us a lot more tired, a lot faster than normal push-ups because the triceps are being worked for smaller muscles than the chest, the shoulders, which normally are able to help kick in a little bit more. Nice. Good. Pressing into it. Little push-ups. Right hand in front of left. Good. Half done. And if these are getting to be impossible with the bands pumping, drop your knees and keep going. And if you drop your knees, see if you can get a little bit deeper into that range. I don't care how many you do. We're not going for speed here. We're going for depth. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Good job, Instagram. Keep going. We have six, five. See if you can do two more. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake out the arms. Quick tricep stretch, left hand between the shoulder blades. Feel that release in the muscle. And switch right hand between the shoulder blades. And release it. Let's make our way back down. This time, left hand in front of right hand. You can make your way into plank position, or you can do these on your knees. 40 seconds. Here we go. Down and up. And I like to spread my fingers wide. Gives me a little bit bigger base to work off of. So I'm not just like having a really narrow hand. I'm giving myself a little bit wider space. Cool. These look good. And we want those elbows going straight out to the side. And as I'm even sitting here, I'm noticing that my arms are starting to darken a color a little bit, which is what we want. Awesome. Last 10. Keep going. I know they're funky. We have eight. Four more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, come on up to sit or come on up to stand for our bicep curls. And if you want, you can grab your shoes again. Yes, we're gonna use these shoes ad nauseum <laughs> throughout our workout because we've got them and they're a prop. So grab your shoes. We're gonna do a bicep curl with our shoes. And just to prove how powerful the bands are, I want you to give me your biggest, best, strongest, slowest bicep curls using your shoes as weight. We're going 40 seconds. Got to restart my cycle. Here we go. So nice and slow. Squeeze it all the way up. Release it down slowly, gripping the shoes as you work through that range of motion all the way up all the way down and grab those shoes really tightly and see if you can do these without letting your arms fully straightening so we want to keep a contraction in the bicep the whole time up and down we need to think of a creative name for shoe plus cop two <laughs> cop shoe what just came up with that <laughs> awesome have done good slow as we can go Mm -hmm. Last 10. Work through it. Squeeze the elbows into the midline of the body. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Roll the shoulders out. All right, this next set, we're going to do 40 seconds again, but we're going fast. Elbows in. Grab those shoes. Ready, set, let's pump it up, up up and I want you to squeeze the band, squeeze your biceps, squeeze your elbows in the whole time, squeeze your shoes, squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes, why not? Get them up, 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 there we go. Nice, lift, lift. Ooh, I got shoelaces flying all over. Good, half done. Squeeze, squeeze, pump those shoes in. There we go. Good. Last 10. Give me what you got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Roll your shoulders out. All right. 
You can take a quick break, grab water, uh, and just take a look at me for our next move. We're only going to use one of our shoes, but we are going to use a shoe. So I set my shoe over on the left side of my body. I come into plank position. I tap my left shoulder with my right hand. I tap the floor. I reach through, grab the shoe, move it over, set my right hand down. Tap my right shoulder with my left hand. Tap the floor. Move the shoe under the body. Set it down. Keep going. Side to side. And for this one, if you want to go fast, you can go fast. That's fine with me. You can also only do it on your knees. Let's make our way down onto hands and knees if you're not already there. Set your shoe over onto one side, let's say the left. Make your way up into plank position, 40 seconds. Here we go. Tap the shoulder, move the shoe. Tap the shoulder, move the shoe, side to side. And you can tap the floor in between, or you can just tap the shoulder, grab the shoe, and move it. You've got the idea. <laughs> Good, getting some extra balance there on one arm as we move that shoe from side to side. See how far over you can place it away from your body. <laughs> People on Instagram are laughing. <laughs> awesome. Nice, tap the shoulder, move the shoe. Last 10 seconds, these are great. Awesome, we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So now we're gonna make it a little bit harder for our second set if you want more of a challenge. I'm using one shoe again. This time I'm gonna tap my shoulder, reach that shoe forward, side. Tap the shoulder, reach the shoe forward, and side. Or you can just tap your shoulder and move the shoe over to one side. Doesn't matter, we're basically playing with balance on one arm, and our core has to work to support the body here. Sometimes being on one arm is a little bit scary, so you can always drop your knees, but try it. See if you can do a couple reps. So let's make our way back into plank position. All right, time is rolling. Tap the shoulder. Bring that shoe forward, set it out to the side. Shoulder, shoe, side. Shoulder, shoe, side. Keep going. And as you do this, I want you to keep your hips really stable. So try not to wobble back and forth. Using the strength of that one arm and your core to keep you stable. And whether move is a reach or a, a grab, whatever it is with the shoe, you get the idea. You're working into one arm. These look awesome. <laughs> yes. Nice, Jim. And if you do not have a shoe, you can always pretend. Good job. All right, last 15 seconds. Ooh. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Cool. So we practiced being on our hands with the shoe. Now for our next one, you're gonna take your shoe, you're gonna place it on your back. And now you can either, I like to put it on my lower back, you can either stay on the hands and knees or you can come up into plank position. We're doing the downs and ups, also known as commandos. So I drop my arm down, down. I come onto my palms, up, up, down, down, up, up. And I want to do this keeping my body so stable, the shoe does not fall off my back the whole time. So that means we're working a little bit slower, but we're also stabilizing more and building strength in the upper body. So go ahead and set yourself up. You can either be on your knees or in full plank position, 40 seconds. Here we go. I go form, form, palm, palm, form, form, palm, palm. Keep going. Oh, nice. Good job, Instagram. Doing our commandos, dropping down into our forms, making our way back into our forms. And it's hard to do it keeping the shoes stable. These look great. Good job, Sophia and Sydney. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Last 10 seconds. Keep going, keep going. We have seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and rest. Go ahead and make your way onto your hands. You can remove the shoe for a moment. And keeping your hips stacked over your knees, walk your arms forward for a shoulder stretch, hovering the elbows off the floor. Good. Start to walk your hands back towards your body. Find your shoe, place it back on your back. Back on the back. Make your way up into plank, second set. Here we go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. That's it. And as I come back onto my palms, I want to make sure that my wrists are underneath my shoulders. Sometimes we have a tendency to kind of walk our arms forward and pitch forward, but I want that nice, good form of the joint stacked. Kill it. And if your shoe falls off, just pop it right back on there. Don't stop. Love it. Good, half done. Good, now that you know what it feels like to have the shoe on there and do the work, see if you can speed it up a little bit. Last half of our set. Good. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Go ahead and take the shoe off your back. Take your left arm, reach it up, thread it underneath the body, and then reach it up again. Weave it underneath the right arm. Good, three more, reach it up. Weave it under, reach it up. As you weave it under, try and rest your left cheek on or towards the floor. Last one, reach it up and take it under and come back through center. Now let's work into the right arm. So what are we doing here? We're stretching the back of our shoulder. We're also opening up our thoracic spine, our mid upper back. So go ahead and reach your right arm up. Start to slide the back of the arm underneath the left. Rest your cheek down or towards the floor. Reach it back up. Slide it under. Let's take three more. Last two. And the final one. All right, go ahead and make your way back up onto your hands. Press your hips up and back. Give the legs a pedal, actively pushing the floor away from you with your palms. And then our last exercise here is we're gonna shift our weight forward into plank. Shift our hips up and back, downward facing dog. Shift your weight forward into plank. Shift the weight up and back. Time is rolling, keep moving. And I like this move because not only are we building strength in our shoulders, we're also building mobility in our shoulders, using our weight to help get our arms up and overhead. And we're opening up the backs of our legs to prepare us for our lower body series. Good, shifting from plank to downward facing dog. See how high you can get your hips. And as you shift forward, get those shoulders all the way over your wrist. Woo, looks good. Arms should be starting to get tired. <laughs> That's it. All right, half done. Keep going, keep going. Last 10. Good. In eight, we're going to meet with our hips up and back. We have seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press your hips up and back. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up nice and slowly to come up to stand. We're going to get our heart rate up, and then we're going to swap out our bands. Our heart rate moves today are tuck, jump, to jack. So this one's really hard. We can modify if we need to. I tuck, jump, jack. Tuck, jump. Jack, you can always tuck, jack, tuck, jack. Otherwise, get those feet off the floor. After that, we're doing kick out. So I come back down onto my palms. I kick my legs side to side. And lastly, I come back up to stand. Side to side, lunge jump. I go side, 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 side. Hovering, alternating foot off the floor. You can go as fast as you want, okay? So some weird moves today. We're doing all kinds of different things with the body. 
but that's what I want to really elevate the heart rate and control the different parts of our limbs. Okay, so first up we have tuck jumps to jacks. This is gonna be probably one of the hardest things we do all day. So knowing that we're ready, we can do it. We have one set with arm, arm bands on. So excited, ready, set, go. Tuck, jack, tuck, jack, stuff, stuff. It's only 30 seconds, we can do this. Nice, last 10, Woo, there we go. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way down onto your hands and knees. Kick it through, come center, over, center. Try and keep the knees off the floor the whole time. That's it, good. And if you can bend into your knees to hover them off the floor as you come back through center, even better. Woo, that's it. <laughs> Last 10, then we're gonna hop up for lateral lunges. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up. Last 30 seconds, let's do it. Up, up, side to side. If you wanna add a punch, go for it. <laughs> See how high up you can get that knee. Woo. My heart rate's up. Yeah, half done. Pick up the pace. Come on. Ten more. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Big sip of water. Let's swap out our bands. The question of the day yesterday was, if you have not yet started your career, what do you want to do as your career? And if you have already been in your career, would you do the same thing or would you change it if you could do it all over again? So that was a fun one. We got some funny answers. We got some honest answers. And some of us are still figuring it out. <laughs> so the question of the day for today is, hmm. What is, oh, we already did favorite childhood memory. That one was a good one. That's a good question. Hmm. Oh, this is an easy one we've never done. What is your favorite color and why? We'll keep it simple. We'll go ahead and put our leg bands on. Instagram, if you want to answer the question of the day, what is your favorite color and why? Go ahead and toss it in the chat. My Zoomers, as I'll call us, go ahead and throw it in the chat or feel free to unmute yourself as we swap out our bands, drinking a good amount of water, making sure we have our shoes close by. My favorite color is blue because as a child, that was my birthstone and my eye color. Ooh, someone answered it. What do we got? Who was saying it? Was that John? Blue, blue, ocean, ocean blue. Yeah, coming from the guy who lives in Florida, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, Steve says blue, ocean and sky. Are we also a team of blue people? We like doing things outside. <laughs> I keep finding more and more similarities between this group. It's really fun. What else we got? Favorite color and why? Come on guys, this one isn't that hard. Give me some answers. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna drink water and wait. Okay, to add uh, to this uh, something different. Uh, blue uh, for the ocean. Blue for the ocean? Just, we all just love blue. I'm just, yes. <laughs> just, I'm I'm like, just I just want to work out, so I'm going to answer the question. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. We can go ahead and get started. Um, okay. We're going to come back down onto our hands and knees and grab our shoe yet again and place it on our back to help open up the hips a bit. If your cycle is not already going, please start it now. Okay, so grab a shoe, place it on your back. This is intended to open up our hips, helping with mobility, but also helping with strength of the outer hips. And in all the bodies that I work with, um, outer hip strength, hip strength in general, is something that universally most people can afford to work on a little bit more. We don't give our outer hips enough love. So 
I'm in this nice tabletop position, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. I'm gonna start to pull my left leg up and off the floor. And without letting the shoe fall off my back, I'm gonna draw as big a circle as I can all the way up through and back. And each time you do this, I want you to imagine you're tracing a bigger and bigger circle with your knee. Nice. Good. Keep working through it. Awesome. Let's take three more. Last two. And one. Good. Go ahead and drop that left knee down. Pick up the right leg. Circle it around. And it's really hard to do this without letting the shoe fall off your back. And that's exactly why we put it there. Because we don't want our hips and our spine to move. We only want to isolate the leg in the hip joint, the hip socket. So notice that your arms are nice and straight here. Stabilize as well. And let's take three more. Good. Last two. And final one. And rest. Okay. Come on up to stand. Grab your shoes. We're doing a shoe sumo squat heel lift. So the shoes are just something to have as fun. So you're going to extend your arms out to the sides, shoes in hand. Step your feet really wide. Angle the toes out as far as you can. So I want your toes and your shoes in line, all the way externally rotated. Now we're going to bend into the knees. Knees in line with shoes as well as best you can. So keep pressing them back and then start to lift alternating heels off the floor. 40 seconds. Here we go. If you want more of a challenge, both heels up. Same time. Keep pressing your knees in line with your shoes. Good. Yeah, you can either alternate or do them both. Woo! My cycle sets a high. My legs are already feeling it. Yeah. Good. Get those heels up as high as you can, working into our calf muscles, but also getting some shoulder activation here, using our shoes as guideposts for where we want our knees to be pointing. That's it. Good. Last 10 seconds. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, come on up. Circle the hips around. Move them around the other way. All right. As you come back through center, if you tried alternating heels, I encourage you to try both heels for this round. Um, and if you are already doing both heels for an extra challenge, you can try and keep your heels off the floor the whole time. Shoes out, knees out, heels up. Here we go, up, up. Ooh, there we go. And I keep pressing those knees open. A lot of balance here. And even if you're alternating heels, you can still try and keep one heel lifted the whole time or both heels lifted the whole time, even better. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, feeling that burn. Legs might be shaking a little bit. That's what we want. Making sure arms are in line with shoulders. Don't get too sleepy. Last 15 seconds. Up. Up. We have 10. Ooh, drop the butt even lower. First six. Five. In four, we're going to lift the heels and hold. Two. One. Lift those heels. Little pulses down with your butt. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, higher heel, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Whoo, parallel the feet, rock the hips side to side. Release one shoe to the floor. Keep the other in your hand. We're going side to side, shoe squat. So I walk my feet so they're hips distance apart. I have my shoe. I reach it up, I go down, up, down, up. And I, then I fling my katsu off my pants. 
You got the idea, side to side. Now, I want you to try to keep both heels, actually we need to keep both heels rooted into the floor. I keep losing my thing. Rooted into the floor the whole time we do this. So try not to let your heels lift as you work through it side to side. Down, up, down, up. That's the stuff. First set, we're going. Good, now let's correct ourselves because I'm seeing some people do this to get their shoe down. Doesn't matter if your shoe touches the floor. Keep your chest up as you work side to side. No rounding the back. So it doesn't matter if the shoe gets all the way down. As long as you keep your spine really straight. Yeah, good. So we're getting a slight rotation of our obliques and our spine here as well. And I want you to try and get low enough that you can get that shoe to the floor. But the bend is in the knees, not on the spine. <laughs> shoe squats. Looking good. Awesome, half done. Over, up, over, up. Mm -hmm. Last 10, get as low as you can. We have six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and kick the legs out. Those look really good. I'm still seeing a little bit of this so maybe if you can't get your shoe to the floor, try and get it to the outer edge of the knee. As long as you're up like this, don't round out. That's the only thing I'm noticing that we're kind of doing a little funky. Uh, if you're not doing that, completely disregard this comment and keep doing exactly what you're doing. So we have one more set to get it, get it even better. So here we go. Reach your arms up, 40 seconds, side to side. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Yes. And the goal here, by having the shoe in our hands and working it down towards the floor, is even if you can't tap the floor today, notice how low you can go. And eventually we'll do this exercise again, and you can gauge as your body gets stronger and deeper, your progress. So it's almost like a shoe measure indicator of your hip mobility and your quad strength. Awesome. Good, half done. Get that butt to the floor. There we go. Nice, Jim. Oh, these are so good. Last 10. Sophie and Sydney looks great. John looks good. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop that shoe. Let's get our heart rate up. First 30 seconds. Tuck jump to jumping jack. So we go tuck. Jump, tuck, jump. On your mark, get set, here we go. The higher you jump on that tuck, the harder it's gonna be. <laughs> Good job, and it can be a baby jump. Half done. Good. In 10, we're going to come down for the kick out. In seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down into plank position. Hover your knees side to side. Kick, 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 and kick. Do your best to hover the knees off the floor as you come back through center. And you can go as fast as your body will allow you to go. Nice, half done. The whole body is working and moving together. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop up to stand. Side to side, lunge jump. You can add a punch. Here we go. Over, over, side to side. Get that knee up. And I'm very excited for our lower body workout today because we have a brand new move and it's really different. It's gonna be the last thing we do. Excitement is mounting. Here we go, last. Get those knees up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab a sip of water, let the heart rate drop a little bit because we're going to get our heart rate elevated again on our next exercise. 
Whew, deep breath. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next up, we have lateral hand side hops. Don't worry about the name. I'm gonna take one of my shoes. I'm gonna drop it in the middle of my workspace. My goal is to clear the shoe with my feet as I go through the movement. So I drop my hands down to the floor. I hop over the shoe, come up. Hands to floor, over, up. We're going side to side. Woo, see how high you can get on that jump, okay? Um, alternative, you step over the shoe, you come up, you come down, step over the shoe. But I encourage trying a small hop here. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty safe um, to take a baby hop over the shoe. So that's our move. Let's take a big breath. Let it go. All right, 40 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go, hands to floor. Hop, up, down, hop, up, side to side. You wanna add speed? Add speed in now. <laughs> We're flying all over the place today. <laughs> Good. Nice, Diane. Mm -hmm. Awesome Instagram. Good. Get those feet up as high as you can, beautiful. Last 10. Woo! Nice, George. <laughs> we have seven, six, two more, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Those look really great. Those look good. I don't think we've ever done those before. So it's a new thing. Give the legs a kick out. All right. Second set, and we do not have any more heart rate boost sessions in our workout today. So I encourage you to use this and the rest of our exercises as an opportunity to keep your heart rate elevated because we know that this is where the work is gonna lie. We have this, then we have two or three more moves depending on time, and then we're gonna come down for core. So let's take our second set. Here we go, 40 seconds. Hands down, hop, up, down, hop, up, keep going. And it looks like everyone's moving. We don't need an alternative. Oh, yes, Diane, awesome. <laughs> I know it's a little scary for everyone to kind of put your hands on the floor and then hop up in the air. You're essentially doing a mini handstand, but you guys have got it. Yeah. John's got his dog hanging out, just watching him like, okay, dad. <laughs> Perfect, clear that shoe. Oh, yes, yes. Guys, knock it out of the park every time. Brilliant, last 15 seconds. Get those feet up even higher. We know how to do this now. Get them far over to the side, last 10. Give me three more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Grab the shoe. This is the last leg exercise that we're gonna do with the shoe. The rest of them will we'll graduate the shoe until we come down for core. So it's part balance, part hip strength. I'm gonna take my shoe out to the left. I'm gonna take a bend into my left knee and I'm gonna tap the foot with my right, tap the floor with my right foot three times. So I go forward, side, back, forward, side, back. Doesn't matter how big that lift is, take a big bend into the left leg. And if having the shoe out to the side just doesn't serve you, you can always take your hands to your hips, but it's kind of a counterbalance to the leg. So here we go. First, we're doing the right leg only. Let's move through it. Kick up, out, back, up. That's the hardest one, out, back. That's it, keep going. Nice. See if you can take a little bigger bend into your left knee, so that leg is getting worked as well. And take your time, you don't have to be fast. Take them slow, focus on getting that leg as high up as you can with each one. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. We're doing full 40 seconds per side and then we'll do the other side. Yes. Good. I'll work through it with you. Okay, here we go. Half done. And notice as you kick forward, we don't want to fully slouch out. Don't let your body move. Last 10. Mm -hmm. See if we can do one more round. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, that standing leg is going to be working really hard too. These are good. Swap that shoe into your right hand. Extend it out to the right. Shift your weight to the right leg. Bend into the knee. All right, working to the left leg. 40 seconds. Here we go. Up. Out, back, up, out, back. Don't let the right side of your body tweak out or bend. Oh my goodness. Cut shoe magic. Mm -hmm. Get that left leg as high up as you possibly can. Squeeze your outer hip. Squeeze your glute as you kick it back and try and keep the leg straight. Last six, five. Four, three, two, and one. We've got one more round of these, and then we're gonna do our last leg exercise of the day. These are good. All right. Shoe into the left hand. Extend it out to the side. Shift the weight into the left leg. Little bend into the knee. This time we're gonna go the other direction. We're gonna go back, side, front, back. Time's rolling, side, forward. And my upper body does not move no matter which plane of motion that leg moves in. Good, so I'm stabilizing my core, I'm stabilizing the glutes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. Good, see if you can slow it down a little bit, get that leg even higher. Good, two more rounds, 10. Mm -hmm. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shoe into your right hand, take it out. Bend into your right knee. Here we go, back, side, forward, back, side, forward. That's it. Woo, you can take it super slow-mo. <laughs> All right, good, half done. And making sure that that arm stays in line with the shoulder. We don't want to let it get too sleepy. Keep it working to help balance the obliques, working the side of the body as well. Mm -hmm. Last 15. Some kicks. All right, two more rounds. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that shoe. Okay, our last exercise of the day is challenging. It's very challenging. And we're going to do our best to work through it. And there can be stages that we take. So I start, I come down to sit. I roll onto my back, press my hips up. I roll up to sit and come up to stand. I go down, back, up, roll up, come up to stand. If this doesn't quite work yet, take your arm, use them to help you. So come down, roll back, press your hips up, press into the forearms to help you get up, prop yourself up, stand, and then come back down to sit. Why this is so important is because we're opening up our hips and we're also priming ourselves that if we ever need to pick something up, ideally we're able to pick it up like this and not like this. So when you're coming down to sit, being mindful, even if you kind of need to take one hand and then the other, that's what we're working towards so we're able to do that. So it really is functional. So let's start stand standing. Everyone come on up. And we're gonna work through this together to start. If you can do it on your own, just start cruising. Otherwise, let's come through. So I step my feet slightly wider than hip distance. Time's rolling. I'm going to drop my butt down as low as I can. If you need your hands, that's fine. Otherwise, I'm going to sink my butt down. Roll all the way down to my back. Press my hips up. Roll all the way up to sit. 
and come up to stand. And you can use your hands as much as you need. So I'm gonna keep demonstrating up here. And you can adjust however you need. Don't get discouraged if you can't do it. We do things like this just to know where we have the opportunity to grow stronger. Mm -hmm. Half done. Uh -huh. Good. Yay. I see us trying and that's all I care about. Last 10. See if you can do one more. <laughs> Woo, we had six, five, four, three, two, and one. I adore you all for trying. Those look good. That's exactly what I wanted. We were doing it, okay? We're going to take one more set. If at any point it feels like it's too much for the knees, um, you can always just do a good old-fashioned air squat, each time getting yourself lower and lower. Same purpose. We're not controlling the rest of our body as much, but at least we're working on our hips. So let's start standing. Second set, we are going. I come down, roll back, press up, come up, and rise. Awesome. Woo, we're getting some core in there as we do this. We're getting some glutes. <laughs> I like it. Oh, damn amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. You can always do air squats if that's a better idea. Cool, Diane, perfect, good, 10. Good, we're gonna meet standing in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Take some butt kicks to help open up the thigh. All right, so we have one minute of core work today. We're gonna be using our shoe again. And then we'll wrap it up. And tomorrow is stretch and mobility day. We will of course do some little bit of strength in there too. Um, but we're gonna get the opportunity to open the body up a little bit more. So our first core exercise, you're gonna grab one of your shoes. I dig my heels into the floor. I roll onto my back, tap the floor, roll up to sit, reach the shoe up. Roll down into the back, tap the floor, roll up to sit, reach the shoe up. 30 seconds in four. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Roll back. Tap. Roll up. Press. Roll back. Tap. Roll up. Press. Keep going. And ideally, I keep my heels rooted into the floor the entire time. Try not to let them lift. So it requires a little bit of control here not to kind of fling the legs around. Awesome. And it's only 30 seconds, so it's short. Last eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, roll on up to six. So my next exercise, I'm gonna pop that shoe between my feet, squeezing it between my feet for stability. This time I have my hands into my chest. I roll back, I roll up, cross body punch. Roll back, roll up, cross body punch. Now try not to let your feet lift off the floor the whole time, 30 seconds. Boom, let's do it. Last exercise of the day. Back and up, punch, punch. Back and up, punch, punch. Good, if you wanna make it faster, go for it. Nice, last 10. We have seven. Five, four, three, one more, two, and one. Everybody roll up to sit. Go ahead and remove the shoe. Set it over to one side. Wrap your forearms around your shins to release the low back. And you can just rock side to side here. Go ahead and straighten the right leg out. Take the sole of the left foot inside the right leg and walk your hands down around the right leg, framing it. And you can stop your cycle here. 
Good. Roll up to sit, switch sides, pull the right foot into the left leg. Walk your hands down, frame the leg. Let the upper body round. Let the forehead drop down towards your thigh. Shake your head. Yes, you did great work. And roll on up to sit, last one. Soles of both feet together, butterfly stretch. You can either grab your toes or your ankles and pull yourself down, or you can walk your arms forward, whichever one feels better. Sometimes when we grab our feet though, we're able to get a little bit deeper if we're not as flexible. I'm using our feet as a lever. Shake your head no, no more work today. Give the knees a flutter in your fold. Wiggle them around. And then roll up to sit, reach your arms up, hook your thumbs, pull the fingers in opposite directions. Switch the hook of the thumbs, pull the fingers in opposite directions again. Release the thumbs, palms together, get yourself around. Nice job, everyone. That last move was very bizarre and it takes, takes some time, but everyone is trying it and that's all I ask. We'll be here tomorrow for good workout, a little bit more flexibility stuff too. Thank you very much. Thanks, Welcome. Laurel. So, I, Laurel, uh, 11 o'clock yeah. tomorrow? Or what's it? Perfect. Okay. Yep. Okay. I will be, I'll be in your Zoom room. Yes. I'll Take be right here. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.